Hello and welcome to this video. I am Omar and today I will show you how you can insert icons in Microsoft PowerPoint. Those icons are only available in Microsoft Office 365 subscriptions, but are not available in the other PowerPoint versions. But before starting with this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting my content. And now let's go and see how we can insert the icon. So here I'm creating a presentation about the types of energy. And in the next slide, I want to talk about each type of energy in one of these colored blocks. And in addition, I want to insert an icon that represents this type of energy. So first of all, how do I insert the icons? I will go into insert. And here in the illustrations, I have icons. I will press on this. And here I will have all the icons that PowerPoint can offer. I can either choose one of the categories here, for example, accessibility, puzzles, analytics, or anything, or I can search from here. So let's say I want an icon for oil or petroleum. So here is an icon for petroleum. I will select it. And as you can see here in insert, and now I have one icon to insert. I will continue my search. And I'll choose wind, the wind energy, and I will select this one. And as you can see now, I selected two. I will continue with solar. Selected hydro power. I will choose a tree for the biomass energy, so maybe this tree. And nuclear. And I'll choose this one. Now I have six icons and I will press insert. And as you can see, the six icons are inserted here. First of all, I will make them a bit bigger. And now I will start spreading them. And as you can see now, I have six icons representing the different types of energy of energies and now I'm free to uh, put text around it or put titles for each icon but let me show you what else can I do with these icons so if I press on one of these icons let's say this one I can go into graphics format here and I can do different things for example I can change the graphic fill to be different color like white for example or any other color but for now I will keep it as black I can also change the graphic outline so for example if I want the outline to be white as you can see here so the outline is white and the filling is black I can change the graphic effects for example putting shadows or reflections or glow so I can do different things with these icons. Also, I can do the normal arrangements for them. For example, bringing forward or backward alignment, rotation. So I can do different things. And also I can do one more thing. So as you can see, this icon has more than one shape. If I convert to shape here, now, each one of these parts will be a different shape. So, for example, I don't want this other one, so I can select and delete the parts of it. And now I have only one wind turbine. Let me get it back. So, 
this convert to shape cannot affect all types for example if I select the tree and convert to shape it will stay as one part because the tree here is originally one shape so I hope this video was helpful for you to to let you know how to insert icons and how to change them into shapes and remove some parts of them also change their color their effects for example adding reflections shadows and changing the colors and this will make your presentations more visualistic and more attractive for the audience don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to like and share this video